Thank you, Mr. Timo. Uh, you, Excellency, Mr. Kawakami Fumihiro, Ambassador of uh, Japan to Fiji, uh, Home Secretary, uh, representatives of uh, Silian Rao Village, and Bukumbuke, who are on the road with uh, uh, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of uh, uh, the media, uh, Excellency, Konnichiwa, Bolovinaka, warm greetings and welcome to the Ministry. It is a privilege to meet with you and our delegation today in your capacity as uh, Ambassador of Japan. Your presence to grace this special occasion is a testament of your sincere commitment and support in deepening relations with Fiji. I wish to convey our sincere gratitude for the ongoing collaboration between the Japanese Embassy uh, team here in Suva and the Fijian government in bringing services to the people. Through our consistent engagement, uh, we can attest to the strength of partnerships and collaboration to address the development needs of the people of Fiji, especially our rural communities. The government of Japan continues to have a long-standing relationship and unwavering support towards Fiji, particularly through providing support in the areas of climate change, disaster risk management, and COVID-19 response efforts, to name a few. Excellency, the Ministry of Rural and Maritime Development and Disaster Management is mandated to improving the well-being of the people of Fiji living in the rural and maritime areas, as you well know, as part of our efforts to close the development gap between the rural and urban areas. One of our key priorities is supporting communities with sustainable basic infrastructure that will contribute towards their development aspirations. However, the government's limited funding, coupled with the overwhelming demand for assistance, we are thankful to development partners such as the Japanese government to be able to meet the needs of these communities. <coughs> At this juncture, I wish to convey on behalf of the government of Fiji and the people of Salian Rao village in Namosi, our sincere appreciation to <coughs> Your Excellency, Mr. Kawakami Fumihiro and the government of Japan for the timely grant assistance to the grassroots human security program that will fund the construction of the Silian Rao Village footbridge with a total funding of 110,709 US dollars. Silian Rao Village is situated along the Wain Koroi Luba River in the interior of Nomosi and has been susceptible to flooding during heavy spells of rain. For this reason, villagers risk their lives by crossing the river to access public services such as health facilities and schools in neighboring villages. And for many years, the people of Salyandrao have encountered socio-economic implications that affected the well-being of their community due to the absence of such a bridge. We are thankful to the government of Japan for this initiative, which will boost their economic opportunities, social cohesiveness, and accessibility to services outside the community. This timely assistance will provide relief to the villagers of Salian Rao as a cries for better accessibility will finally come to fruition. Children missing out at school, pregnant mothers giving birth in the village due to flooded waters will be no more. The proposed footbridge will benefit about 60 households and 231 people, including the 14 people with disabilities. This initiative is also an example of a private-public partnership that involves the Government of Japan as a funding agency, the Government of Fiji through the Ministries of Public Works and Ministry of Rural and Maritime Development as project implementers, and Salian Rao Village as the host community. It is through partnerships such as this that we are able to continue to empower rural livelihoods through creating an enabling environment that promotes socio-economic development and improving the quality of life. Excellency, we always value our friendship and look forward to exploring other areas of shared interests in the context of improving livelihoods in the rural areas and combating climate change through disaster management and mitigation. I'd like to thank you for your exemplary leadership and giving priority to Fiji's development needs. Your tremendous support to the rural people of Fiji is culminating in the signing of this grand agreement we are having here today. I wish you well as you further strengthen your friendship between the governments and peoples of Fiji. Thank you very much. The Honorable Sakiyashi Ditoka, Minister for Rural 
maritime development and disaster management. The Honorable Chobesa Bozea, Assistant Minister for Rural Maritime Development and Disaster Management, and Mr. Mitieri Dama, Acting Permanent Secretary for Rural Maritime Development and Disaster Management, Mr. Taitoshi Bakandula Boyada, Permanent Secretary for Public Works, Communication, Transport, and Meteorological Services. And Mr. Joseba Nabuku, Commissioner Central. Mr. Vitale Barro, Commissioner Eastern. And distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Gulabinaka, Namaste, and very good afternoon, and Konnichiwa to you all. Firstly, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to the Honorable Minister and the Rural Maritime Development and Disaster Management Ministry team for hosting this grant contract signing ceremony, as well as for the warm hospitality accorded to us. And may I also take this opportunity to congratulate the Honorable uh, Detoka on being appointed the, the Minister for Rural Maritime Development and Disaster Management and Honorable Bozia on your appointment as Assistant Minister uh, in the new democratically elected government of, of Fiji seated after the 2022 general election. And my most important mission as an ambassador of Japan to Fiji is to maintain and strengthen the close cooperation and friendship between Japan and Fiji. And in line with the policies of the new government, I will provide the support that Fiji truly need, needs. Honorable Minister, I look forward to working closely with you in forming a strong working partnership towards helping address the development needs of Fiji's rural and maritime areas, as well as enhancing Fiji's resilience against natural disasters. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government and people of Japan, it is my honor to formalize with the Honorable Minister the Japanese government's grant assistance for the project for construction of footbridge in Sariadoro village today. The people of Sariadoro village, through the office of the Commissioner Eastern Division, made the request for assistance towards the construction of the bridge to our embassy and upon seeing the determination by Sariadoro villagers towards improving their livelihood, education and efforts to better access medical treatment when needed, the government of Japan and our embassy committed to provide uh, 248,000 Fijian dollars for the construction of the 60 meter long suspension footbridge. I'm pleased to say that the Office of the Com Commissioner Central Division will Im implement the footbridge project through the technical and professional assistance of the Ministry of Public Works, Communication, transport and uh, meteorological services. This project will be implemented through Japan's grassroots grant assistance scheme. Uh, I should to take this opportunity to highlight that since 1990, Japan has implemented 420 grassroots grant assistance projects, which uh, collectively was uh, more than 32 million US dollars to assist grassroots community of Fiji. 
And it gives me great joy to see that the implementation of this uh, project will improve the lives of the people's Sariadro village through improving accessibility. I heard that uh, currently the villagers, especially the children, risk their lives and limbs when crossing the river on a daily basis. But upon completion of the project, we hope that the livelihood and safety of people crossing the footbridge will not be compromised, guaranteeing peace of mind for the entire community. On another note, His Excellency, Latu Uriyami Maibariri Katoinibele, President of the Republic of Fiji, during his speech of the opening of the 2023-2024 session of Parliament, highlighted that the revival of the rural and out island development program will boost socio-economic development in the rural setting through the improvement of infrastructure. In this occasion, I'm very pleased to assist Sariadoro village just after the establishment of the new government. I believe that Sariadoro village will have a quality new infrastructure to strengthen its development and its strive into a brighter future. I conclude with confidence that the assistance provided by the people and government of Japan will boost socio-economic development in Fiji, as well as further strengthen the friendship between the governments and peoples of Japan and Fiji. Thank you very much. Minakaba Kaleb. His Excellency and the Honorable Minister to show the sign uh, to the, our um, photographers. If you could please uh, take your best uh, picture for the game.